Hi Claire, thanks for agreeing to talk to me today about direct payments. Um, can you just tell me a little bit about Jo? Yeah, Jo is a young adult, um, full of life. He's 21, um, he has a profound learning disability and some health needs. Okay. And in terms of personal budgets and direct payments, when did you first start thinking about the possibility of having a direct payment? He had a direct payment when he was in children's, which supported with additional carers to support with activities in the community. Right. And then it developed um, as he went trans transitioned into adulthood into a personal health budget, which um, basically sort of sustains his whole daily living needs. So having had the direct payment and transitioning, what, what would you say was the main benefit? What what was it about having a direct payment that made such a difference to Joe? Um, the fact that it's it it's it can be completely Joe centred. So it's personalised. We get to choose the people that we think Joe would like to have supporting him with his daily needs. We get to be innovative because we can go out and commission services that we think will fit Joe rather than Joe fitting into other provisions. What about having the flexibility, what kind of things does Joe do? So we use, at the moment, we use his budget for his activities. So Joe rents an allotment. Um, he goes swimming, trampolining. We've commissioned a special needs um, dance therapist. He has art therapy. So we use, as well as um, things like um, going to the local farm. So we use the money to purchase um, structured, meaningful activities, but it also funds as well um, the care support. Um, and it allows us, it provides care support, carers training, um, and also if we needed to buy specific equipment, for the carers or for Joe. When Joe, I'm assuming Joe had an assessment. Um, so when this assessment took place, what support did you receive? How did you get to know about direct payments? What, what information was given to you? Joe was um, allocated a, an initially a social worker and then was allocated a personal health budget advisor. And they, didn't sort of say this is what we can do they said what does joe need what is joe interested in how can we make joe's better life better and more structured and i sort of had my this is my magic wand this is what i would want and then they've designed and helped fit a funding package around that you talked about a, a, a personal living advisor who 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 are they? What organisation are they? From? So they're from Health. They're from the Health. Um, they come under the part of the Continuing Health um, criteria sort of resource. Mm -hmm. She meets with me regularly. She oversees my budget. Mm -hmm. She has linked me with um, I Access Pendrels Trust, mm -hmm. who help me with recruitment um, and sort of the advertising of staff and job descriptions and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, she also checks in and makes sure that the care plan that we have for Joe with the budget still meets his needs. She's somebody that I regularly consult with um, and also um, they link me in as well. So I've got fantastic um, sort of human resources around employer responsibility, mm -hmm. staff oversight, mm -hmm. um, which is also covered under that, that support. Yeah. And at the moment, Joe lives with you here, but longer term, what's the plan for Joe? So Joe's, um, so currently we, we have um, purchased Joe a house yeah. nearby um, because Joe, we know that Joe would not fit in a residential community and struggles to be with other people. So we've, we've made that our, our, our sort of thing. We've bought the house um, and the, um, he's now transitioning into his own home full time. Mm -hmm. The personal health budget has now looked at being designed around the support. Joe needs 24 hour support, two to one 
at all times. So the care package now has been developed further. And whilst I was buying the house, I was consulting with health. Is this doable? Can we staff this? Mm. Have we got enough resources? And I made sure that they were fully aware of that process mm -hmm. of Joe moving out of home into his own home. But I had the reassurances that he would have that package of support that he needs okay. now that I wouldn't be providing as much informal support. Okay. So if you, if you think back to when Joe had a direct payment to the local authority and now, if you had to go through the process again, what would be the, uh, what, what information would you have liked to have had that would have made a difference at the beginning? What, what's the key information that would have helped? I think the key information is just focusing on what your child or, or member of your family loves doing. What is that, the essence of who they are? And then think about the things that would fit for them, rather than thinking, well, what services are out there I can take my, my member of my family to? Don't think services and then think, what do they want? Yeah. What do they want? What do I need for them? Um, and, and having people to support you to have that, literally, if you had a magic wand, what would you, what would you do? That has been for me, and it's, it's evolved. I think as we've become really centered around meeting individual needs now, we, we can be adventurous and creative and spontaneous and think, well, okay, there aren't any dance therapy sessions Joe can go to because it means being with other people. Can I ask somebody to come in and do it in the home? You know, and having that confidence that actually if you can justify why you need it, usually, you know, you, you've got a good chance of sort of having that allocated in that care plan. And um, one last question. Why, why would you recommend a DP to someone? What is it about a DP that you would say, this is why it's a good thing to think it's about? It's utterly freeing mm -hmm. because it means that we get to choose the people that we know our son will get on with. We know that we can choose the activities we know that we've got the support behind us to, to empower Joe to live a much better, happier, meaningful life. And that's what you get with a direct payment or personal health budget. You get the freedom to design it yourself.